Hey guys, Super Nintendo Games Master here with another video. Today, we're in this parking lot to show you guys that magic is not only restricted to the street or the stage, but also could be done in parking lots, in parking lots. And we just so happen to be in a parking lot and I just so happen to have my camera equipment. So it just works out for the better. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a hot and heavy car trick that you could use to impress your friends and family the next bris. As always, you guys should remember to check out the Pig Cake Magic Academy, where you too could become the life of the party by just paying $5 a month. What? What's $5 a month? Iced espresso from Colombia at Pasión de Cielo in Coral Gables, Miracle Mile. That's not even that. So you could afford to not do that once a month to get two videos a week, over 150 videos already going over card and coin work. Oh boy, if that doesn't increase your virginity to at least level 100, I don't know what will. But you know what, that's enough yapping. We should just get into the trick because I feel like most of you guys have already skipped this intro. Whoa, how did we get here? It's almost as if I just cut the video using Adobe Premiere Pro and just moved the camera four feet this way. But today I'm gonna to show you guys this hot and heavy card trick with these, uh, these Pollock playing cards. The Pollock playing cards printed in Taiwan by the expert playing card company, classic finish designed by Midnight Cards, uh, which you could definitely get at the proprietor for uh, cheap decks at excellent shipping rates right here, uh, United Magicians Emporium. Uh, I'm not saying this because Daniel's currently filming me and currently holding a, a shotgun aimed directly at my ball sack. So for this trick, we're gonna need a, a deck of playing cards and we're gonna actually cut to everyone's favorite cards. What do you think are everyone's favorite cards, Daniel? The five of hearts. The five of hearts, okay. That's, uh, that's uh, it's none of your business, to be honest. What are everyone's favorite cards, Daniel? Ace and Kings. You should just say aces. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> You're spoiling the trick here. Uh, so what are everyone's favorite cards, Daniel? The aces. The aces, that's right. We're gonna be cutting to the aces. Uh, thank you for that non-scripted answer. Uh, the first one is right here. We're gonna leave this precariously on the edge because I'm a man of danger. Uh, the next one requires a little bit of a, of a back of a back shuffle there. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's the second ace. I'm not showing you yet because that's called theater. It's called build up. Learn, learn a little thing or two about uh, theater. Uh, and the next one, believe it or not, uh, comes from a very nice uh, Sybil action right here, uh, right there, perfect. In the middle of the deck, um, how many aces left? One, one, because you guys can do mathematics. Let's see how we could do this one. Last ace right there, perfect. Uh, we have four cards. Believe it or not, the four, uh, the four, <laughs> you know what? Usually this happens when I'm, uh, I'm not feeling it today. Usually that's what happens when I'm not feeling it uh, today. We have the four kings. That's a trick though, right? Is that impressive, Daniel? Is that, you like that trick or no? Um, the four kings? No? You want the four aces? I want the aces, bro. All right. We'll try to find the four aces this time. That was a warm up. That's what I meant. This is a warm up. So I'm gonna shuffle through the cards like this, Daniel. I just want you to call stop anytime you want. Uh, but make sure not to do it like the previous cut. All right, <laughs> go ahead. Stop. Perfect, good eye. Great eye, sir. We're gonna do this three more times. Go ahead. Stop. Perfect, excellent eye. One last time. Stop. Good, see, I, I decided to cut it short there because honestly, I'm a little afraid you might go too long. But we cut to four packets. Believe it or not, you could have said stop anywhere, but we cut to four different individual cards, sir. Uh, this time, no choice, but we actually cut to the four aces. The, f the four aces. Wait, does this? Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't think? Well, this is a perfect intro to Paul Harris's reset, if I've ever seen one, right? That's a good one. Hey guys, I'm totally not about to get kidnapped here with the, the tutorial for this trick. You guys like that. If you guys like uh, ch to touching me, you guys should totally check me out on stream on Wednesdays and Sundays at 9 p.m. 9, 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time and Pacific because we're on that East Coast tip, huh? You know what I'm talking about, Rep representing, right, fam? 
guys. So today uh, I'm gonna show you guys this hot and heavy card trick. It requires a little bit of a setup, a little bit of a setup, but I'm sure it's well, we, well within the reach of uh, I think level 15 virgins. So most of you guys, all of you guys should definitely be able to do this trick. Uh, all you need to do is get the kings and put them on top of the deck and get the aces and put them on the bottom. That's it. Are you capable of that? I think you're capable of that. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do for this particular trick is you're gonna to need to produce these uh, four cards while preserving the bottom cards in whatever way you want. Now, typically uh, you could do this through a series of uh, these cuts right here, these hot triple packet cuts that you see all the youngins doing these days on the, on the street, or you could do it in a, a more flourishy, cardisterist way. But honestly, I wanna see what a vagina looks like. So I would rather stick to the first kinds, the, these little triple packet cuts. But all you're doing is slip cutting the top card and out jogging it. That's all I'm doing to produce the card. So regardless of whatever uh, triple virgin cut, I just slip cut and then that's how I produce the cards. However, I don't turn them face up because that's called spoiling. That's called spoiling it. Uh, but here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna do this first cut and produce one king. Of course, you put this face down on the, uh, the chassis of your vehicle and uh, you proceed from here. So we're gonna do this essentially three more times. So make sure to vary it up. If you want, you could do one of these, and then you could do one of these, and then you could do one of these, and then you could finally do one of these, the cut to the card. So you see you have four different ways to do it. It's almost like a, a transvestite cut. But ultimately you're gonna produce uh, the four kings in whatever way you want. If you already have a pre-existing method or a pre-existing condition, I suggest you coming up with yours. Uh, before this, once again, I'm just doing a series of false shuffles to preserve the aces on the bottom and to show the kings on top without necessarily revealing the other kings. So we got one more to go. What cut should I do? I'll do one of these cuts. I'll do one of these cuts just to show off to the ladies. You know what I'm talking about? 3%? Hit me up on the DMs. Seriously, if you're a female. I'm, uh... Uh, so for this now, you've produced the four kings. And uh, you tell the spectator, you know, that you've, uh, you've mastered producing the aces and cutting to the aces. You're an amazing magician. You're a level 15 virgin. And you could cut directly to the aces each and every single time. And then you turn it over and you show that they're the kings and they laugh at you. Not only for the, the fact that you cut the kings when you said you were gonna cut the aces, but because of the premature ejaculation. So you're gonna do a, a move that I first saw on Paul Harris with Art of Astonishment called the Jinx Change. The Jinx Change. It's a little bit of a hot move. All you're gonna do is you're gonna square these cards up on top of the deck. And uh, obviously I should have mentioned if I was a better magician that I've gotten a break underneath, uh, sorry, rather on top of the aces. I should have mentioned that. But unfortunately I'm, I'm not a, as good as a magician as other people. Here I'm gonna put uh, pictures of like Anna de Guzman. I'm gonna put pictures of Jabrizi. like Jabrizi. I'm gonna put pictures of like the, the whole crew. I'll put a picture <laughs> of you. I'll put a picture of you here. So you have a break there and you show the kings on top, you're gonna square it up with the deck and you're gonna lift all the cards up apart from these four right here. You see that? A little bit of a hot change. So you're gonna lift all of these up and put it on uh, whatever surface you want. Usually the best thing to do is to spread it, but unfortunately right now I'm in the, uh, the trunk of a car because that's what we refer to as aesthetics here, right? So for this, once again, uh, you're just gonna put the kings on top of the deck. Uh, make sure not to stick dirt on them from the uh, chassis rigidity of your car. You're gonna turn these over, you're gonna lift up all the cards and you're gonna place these cards on the table or the surface as you draw attention to the uh, the aces somehow. You say, oh, you know, uh, I cut to the kings. This is a warm up. <laughs> no, you don't understand. This is a warm up. I'm, I'm warming up and you drop them on the table. So that's your switch. So right now the aces are uh, in play, but they think those are the kings. So right now you have the kings on top of the deck. So you're gonna very simply do a little bit of a milk shuffle here by squeezing, by squeezing. It's called the milk shuffle. Um, I don't know why, I guess, because it kind of resembles you milking a cow or milking a, a BBC. But um, what you're doing is that you're putting pressure with your middle finger and your thumb. And that's what allows this back card to stay as you continue overhand shuffling the cards. And you have the spectator call stop wherever it is they want. Wherever it is they call stop, you stop right there and you're gonna place this packet on the table. Now, uh, let me make sure that they're not gonna spill over. No, of course not, because the uh, tires are definitely well aligned in this vehicle. And you're gonna repeat this uh, essentially two more times. You're gonna have the spectator call stop, you're gonna do the milk shuffle, which is guess what? Gonna place the kings on top of each and every single subsequent packet. That's cool. I would've thought the dirt would've held it up. 
You know what? I'm going to put it here. I think that would have been a smart move. So you're going to do this move one last time, which is going to count for these last two kings. And then that's going to be the last two packets that you place on the table. And you tell the spectator they have called stop anywhere they wanted. Uh, but they happen to be the ones that are going to help you find the four aces. And of course, you triumphantly turn over all the cards and they happen to be kings. They happen to be kings. So guess what? You found the kings again because you happen to have the, uh, the um, uh, uh, magic ability of a small autistic monkey. So you found the kings again. And of course, the twist being, oh man, what happened to those kings I placed earlier next to the bird poop? Well, they're the aces. They're the aces. So that's your little bit of a fun twist on this particular card trick. And a very effective way to uh, show the ladies what you mean, right? Show the ladies you mean business. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Uh, I thought this was your mom's house. I didn't know it was, I didn't know you would be here. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to the outro of the video. I'm glad you made it. Uh, this far. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. You might want to do all the things that people do, which involves, you know, subscribing if you haven't already. Share this video with your nan, uh, because clearly she's not home, right? <laughs> and, um, well, do all the things, right? Uh, what else? I think what else should I show? Oh, at Pig Cake Academy, check that out. You and me, give hips some love. And uh, as always, I'm going to figure out different ways to request a return on my Comcast basic cable package.